How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, before we even get started guys, before we even get started, I want you guys to give this video a like, comment, and share it. This has to be by far one of the craziest cover ups I've ever done. I got a little nervous, you know, this, this, this cover up actually got me a little nervous because how dark it was, it was just across the whole entire stomach. As far as this cover up, I had a few concepts in mind. I wanted to do a lion, a samurai, or, or kind of like an underwater kind of theme with skulls and treasures and all these things with ships and stuff. But it didn't really go with his style. The last concept that I had in mind was uh, a gas mask. And as soon as I said that gas mask, he said, I need the gas mask. At first, I didn't like the idea. The reason why it has, it had too much open skin, a lot of soft areas and not enough texture. And for this tattoo, what I needed was texture. And this tattoo did not have it. But after talking to him throughout the breakfast, I was like, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it for sure. I'm not scared, but I was a little bit. So I went home. I started looking up like some gas mask that had at least a little bit of texture, just enough for me to work with. My name is Nicholas Porter. I flew in from Peoria, Illinois. Oh, uh, it was just, I was young. I was like 18, 19. I went in and I let an artist talk me into, we were gonna do a huge mural. It was gonna be this really cool tattoo. and. Obviously, that's not what happened. So I got stuck with a tattoo that I hated and... For this tattoo, my needle selection is gonna be a 27 curve mag, 14 round liner, and a seven round liner for white highlights. Today, we're gonna be doing this project here. First, we're gonna split it in two different days. First day, we're gonna be covering up half of the stomach. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna be doing the other half. There is nothing that can prepare you to do a specific, you can't study a cover-up. Like, you cannot be prepared, especially for this one. Like, I have no idea how I'm gonna, uh, so, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I, <laughs> but I, I, I do have an idea of what I'm doing. <laughs> I just don't know how to approach it. <laughs> you have to really practice your tones, be comfortable with them the um the voltage of your machine the depth of your needles you got to be a hundred percent confident and you know that whatever you pack in you know it's going straight in so it takes practice that uh, what i'm trying to say is that you just got to be confident when you're doing a cover-up because you never know what can happen in the process and you got to have plan b plan c ready in case something's not working you already know what to do next you just gotta eyeball it let's see So you can see most of the black is gonna be located right in the middle of the mask. So this whole thing is, is black, most of it, with a little bit of texture. So you wanna separate the tones with dark and then some light background. So it's not so much black and you get to separate the contrast and the highlights. And then, well, we'll see what happens. Cause I mean, there's a lot of areas that I need highlights, like right here, right here, and obviously the forehead of the mask. So as soon as I will, so as soon as I will. <laughs> oh. I decided to start packing my solid black first, just so I can compare side by side how dark the other tattoo really was. Because um, based on me looking at it, it looked really dark, you know? I was like, I don't know if black is gonna cover black, you know? As soon as I saw the difference between my black and, and the black of the lettering, that told me that I had to use a 60% black and 40% white 
for my mid-tone and for my lightest tone, I was gonna be using 10% black and 90% white. I'm not gonna be using my lightest tone too much. I'm gonna be relying more on my medium tone. And if I need my mid-tone to be a little bit lighter, then I'm gonna dip it in my lightest tone. So in this area, I'm using my medium tone to erase that edge of that lettering. And as you can see, I'm packing in this tone without a problem. It's just going in smooth. The ink underneath is not really popping out. So that means that I'm, I'm using the right tone with the right needle selection, the right depth. As you can see, I'm just going in super smooth. Boom, 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 boom. If you are having trouble packing in your tone, you have to reconsider the needle you're using the tone that you're using and like i said before the only way to know is once you're there and that's what makes cover-ups complicated because you don't know what you're getting into until you're actually doing it and i wish i can tell you more so you can be prepared to do a cover-up but it's honestly complicated to really give you step by step how to do a cover-up because it's it's different every single time As soon as I got to the goggles area, the eye area, whatever that is, the lens, I realized that there was a whole bunch of lines going through the lens. So I improvised and I ended up making one of the, the lines into a glare on the goggle. And that's a huge part of doing covers. You gotta improvise. If you see something in, and you can make it into something else to distract the eye from it, do it. You know, don't be scared to improvise just because it's not in your reference. So improvise, don't be scared. You know, uh, but also also be confident. You know, I, I don't want you improvising, but doubting yourself. You know, if you're going to improvise, don't doubt yourself. I said, you want me to cover up your nipple? And he said, I don't care. And I covered up his nipple. It wasn't that fun though, because he was asleep. This man fell asleep for like two, two hours. It was crazy. How can you sleep through that pain? Your nipple's getting blasted. The day went better than I expected. It was not stressful. I was having fun and no unexpected problems. So now I'm gonna go get some rest and uh, get ready for tomorrow. This second day is gonna be a lot easier because now I know what tones to use and what needle selection to have. Um, so I'm pretty sure today is gonna be easy. Hopefully, I don't want to jinx it. <laughs>
So today, something happened. For the first time ever, I blacked out a belly button. I've never done it before. I've always wanted to do it, but I've never done it. And today was the day I said, yo, <laughs> can I black out your belly button? He said, I don't care. <laughs> so I was like, let's do it. I started packing it in. And as I was doing it, I started cringing. Like, it was cringy. I've never <laughs> touched a belly button. As I was doing it, I could feel his pain on my belly button. But this man was asleep. He wasn't feeling it. Which, that was a good thing, obviously. <laughs> that was a really good thing. I've never met a person that can set this well. The stomach's definitely a painful area, especially getting the nipple and the uh, belly button done. The nipple was very... Uh, very intense, yeah, <laughs> intense, super intense. <laughs> Finally, we are done with this project. And I gotta say, I'm really satisfied with the way this turned out. I feel like I pushed my limits. I feel like I did not take that easy way out. Uh, if I would have done the lion, it has so much texture. I knew I was gonna cover it up no matter what. A skull, texture. So I'm, I definitely impressed myself on this one, you know? Just because I do a whole bunch of cover-ups doesn't mean that I know how to do every single cover-up, you know? I don't wanna feel limited. I, I, I wanna feel like I can do any concept and use it as a cover-up, you know? Oh, I'm, words can't explain. I'm, happy now I feel like I can actually show my tattoos off and I'm proud of like proud of the work it's dope yeah you can follow me at true tattoo it's uh true with two e's on instagram gang gang, <laughs> gang, gang. <laughs> I hope you guys like this video as much as I do so please like comment and share post it on your instagram tag me on your story share it on facebook uh thank you guys for always tuning in I really appreciate it so if you are a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.